What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of this Southampton FIFA 16 career mode. Today's episode is a big one for obvious reasons. It's the quarterfinal second leg of the Champions League where we'll be travelling to the new Camp to take on Barcelona. But first we've got six Premier League games left in order to wrap up our league title. Starting this episode with a home tie against Swansea who are struggling down at the wrong end of the table and are actually in the relegation zone. So back to a 4-3-3 for this one as we're going to look to attack and smash some goals past these boys and get the win today. Again, it's a rotated side. Of course, we've got one eye on that second leg as we take on Barcelona. The players are also knackered from the first leg. The most notable changes to the squad is youngster Emilio Vilna, 67 rated, is going to start wide on the left. He hasn't had a lot of game time this year despite showing a lot of promise. Josh Kimmich, Tolisso and Deli Ali will be in the midfield three. I think it's probably the first time they've played together in the centre of the park. Oh, lose pass. Sherla might get possession back here. Has done. Can he finish? Fabianski. That is a super stop. Kimmich has done well to regain possession. Here is Vilna. Kimmich continues his run. Going to hit one as well. Good strike. Swerving massively. Fabianski parries it out of danger. And Montero will get this clear. Oh, what a ball that is. Jack Cork finds Lucas. Clever turn. He's going away from goal though. Puts the ball back in and target. Very nearly. Diverted it into his own net. Uh, Montero skips past the challenge of Weisser, but Ethan White is having none of it. He's going to roll it down the line to Andre Sherlock, who cuts inside with pace. He's going to hit this one, Sherlock. Wow, what a strike. Again, Fabianski makes the stop. Target. He's going to knock the ball inside to Kimmich. Holds it up well. He's got Weisser storming forward. The right back. What a strike. That is unbelievable. Didn't know he had that sort of shot in his locker. Just under the half hour mark, we got the lead. It's not many right-backs in the world that can strike a ball like that, but he just took a touch to set himself. And Fabianski, who's made a number of top saves in this game so far, is just not going to get anywhere near that. 1-0. Kimmich. On to Tolisso. On to Deli Alley. On to Andre Scherler. This is a good, fast-flowing move. Scherler's going to cut inside. Needs it on his right foot. He's got it on his left. There's the touch. And there is an absolutely beautiful finish. It's just a bit too easy at the back here. Swansea are poor. Yeah, Swansea not the best defensively. It's no surprise really that they're in the bottom three. Look how easy it was for Scherler just to switch that onto his right foot and get the shot away. They need to sort of tighten up. They look good going forward, but what's the point if you can't defend? Andre Scherler, who's been in decent form lately, has made it too. Oh, good challenge from Van Dijk to stop the Swansea attack. Half-time whistle goes. has been reasonably comfortable. They have had a few chances, but so have we. Fabianski has been... Hot in the action so far, but we're going to go in at half-time. Two goals to the good. So corner this time is played short. Luis Muriel's got a lot of space. He's into the box. Could have gone down. Stays on his feet. Tolisso looking to make room for the shot. Instead, he slipped it through to Van Dijk. Shot on the turn. Easy save, really, for Fabianski. You'd expect him to make that one. Oh, what a ball inside that is. What a turn from Sefrovic. And Weisser manages to deflect the shot over the crossbar. So here we go, just over 20 minutes left. Double change, Yassine Benzia and Mane will come on to replace Vilna and Luis Muriel. Corner comes in, we've got to defend this, Trap does so. And we could be away here, we've got a lot of space as Swansea commit players forward. Here is Kimmich, he's got options to his left in Benzia. Fresh legs of course, the pass wasn't a great one. But Benzia will get there, Mane has made a run to cut the defence open. Benzia is back on the edge of the box, gone for the header. Strange. The ball is lofted forward, it's headed away, it hasn't really been dealt with. Good move from Swansea, great stop from Trap. Woo. Swansea starting to put us under a bit of pressure, corner comes in. Where the hell is Trap going? What are you doing, mate? Honestly, so error prone. Ten minutes to go, this game is not done yet. You can see the ball was a bit of a floater, but where the hell is Trapp? He's just run through a crowd of players. Ball wasn't even there to be won. I don't know what he had in his mind. I think he might. He's got Mane ahead of him, who's a lot faster. That challenge was horrific. But as you can see, Deli Ali is free in the middle. So is Benzia. What was that? Where is your composer, young lad? There you go. Full-time whistle's gone as Mane runs the ball off the pitch. We've managed to grind out a uh, narrow 2-1 win here. So this is it. The second leg is here. We're going to play the same 4-2-3-1 kind of formation that we did in the first leg. Obviously expecting Barcelona to just come flying out the blocks and look to attack. I could play five at the back for this one and try and defend, but I know if I invite too much pressure, eventually 
they will break us down. Conte and Classy are going to be the two holding midfielders today. Their role, again, will be vital in stopping any attacks that Barcelona try and put together. Our aim is to get the ball to the two wingers, Villalba and Carrasco. Get the ball into the box for Higuain to do what he does best. Here we go in the pouring down rain at the new Camp. We are 90 minutes away from a place in the last four of the Champions League. Let's do this, boys. Here's Carrasco. Space inside here for Ward Prowse. Higuain goes down the channel. I was rather he was in the middle, but if he can get in the middle, that would be great. What a bit of play from Higuain. Can he find the back of the net? Bravo somehow swats it away. That was a very powerful strike. He done well to even see it, let alone save it. Danger isn't over yet. Here's Kante. Finds Cedric. Going to drill one. Bravo's on fire. Bravo's on fire already. Corner just going to be driven to the edge of the box. Jordi Classy is the man waiting. Jordi Classy! I love it. Just over 15 minutes gone. We lead here at the new Camp. It's an away goal as well. Barcelona now need four. Surely, surely we cannot let this advantage slip. He just took a touch to set himself. And that's a wonder strike. You know, Messi coming forward. Van Dijk has been beaten. The ball is touched on to Neymar. Gets the shot away. Trap. Positioning was a bit off, but he's made the save. Sergio Busquets finds Arda Turan. Oh, good turn. He's found Neymar Jr. Into the box. Suarez beats. Trap to it. And the offside flag goes up. Love it. Oh, Neymar picks up possession. Good little bit of footwork to get away from his man. Stands the ball up. Bertrand is alert with a superb defensive header. Got a lot of players for company, but he's going to find Classy onto Higuain. Should have played that pass. Moment has now gone. Has it? Or Valauba stayed on side? Going to hit this. Ugh. Ugh. Shocking. Let's forget about that one. Half time whistle goes. We are one goal to the good. Three goals to the good. Three goals even to the good on aggregate. That little section of Southampton support up high in the sky will be delighted so far. So at half time, we are one goal up. We've had more efforts, a lot less possession, but Barcelona are not attacking us or putting on as much pressure as I was expecting. Villalba, Classy, Conte, Higuain. I'll oh, see you later, defenders. Go on, Gonzalo. Oh, good save, Bravo. Get there. Oh, change player. Change player. Ooh. Suarez, dispossessed by Jordi Classy. Ward Prowse picks it up and finds Higuain. Needs to get the shot away. That's great feet. Absolutely great footwork. Can he finish? So, so, so close to making it two and killing this tie altogether. Oh, that is just a centimetres, not even inches. There's just no urgency from this Barcelona side at all. They're quite happy just knocking the ball around at the back, keeping possession. But as I say that, Danny Alves has managed to find space down the right. He stands the ball up, it's punched away from trap. And we're able to play it out from the back again. Danger is clear. Coming forward again now, Iniesta. He's shrugged off the challenge from Classy. Arda Turan might have space for a shot. What a ball that is. Trap has dived on it, but a free kick on the edge of the box has been given against Van Dijk here. Now, a free kick on the edge of the box with Messi standing over it is not good news for any Barcelona opponent. Neymar runs over it. Messi steps up. Trap makes the save. Corner to Barcelona. It's an outswinger. It goes deep. Headed back across goal. Cedric will try and win that. Iniesta does. It's gone in off the backside of Jordi Classy. Barca make it 1-1 with 67 minutes gone. May not be over yet. Disappointing to concede from a set piece. Um, not what you want to be doing. The ball looped up a long way. Iniesta won that header. I think it's come off the arm of Classy. Made it impossible for Trap to save that. Come on, boys. Hang on. Ward Prowse touches it down to Classy. Caught in possession by Busquets. Barcelona throwing bodies forward. Luis Suarez could be away here. Turns Van Dijk. Danny Alves has smashed it wide from all of 10 yards. Should have been 2-1 Barca and would have been game on. Here is Lionel Messi down the left-hand side. Why have they got so much space? Mascarano finds Gaitan. Great stop again from Trap. Messi helps it forward. Here is Arda Turan. Tries to lob the keeper, I think, but it's blocked. Again, he shoots. Corner ball. We're defending very, very well. Barcelona are not going to score three goals, but I don't even want to lose the game on the night. The corner is going to be whipped in. Claudio Bravo is up, and Trap has claimed it. So if I roll this out, Hector Valauba may be able to score here from 80 yards. Has that got enough pace on it? Hector Valauba, start celebrating, mate. Right in the bottom corner, we have won both of the ties, both legs. 
That is an unbelievable finish. Let the party start. Look at those Southampton fans. Probably the best away trip of their life. Claudio Bravo came up from the corner, trapped, claimed it, rolled it out to Villalba. And he has just floated that beautifully. One, I didn't know if it was going to make it. And two, I thought it might hit the post, but it's gone right into that bottom corner. Restart the game. 2-1. There you go. Full-time whistle's gone. It's over. We have booked our place in the last four of the Champions League. We won the home leg 2-0. We won the away leg 2-1. And to be honest, this one was probably the easier of the two games. So the draw has been made for the semi-final. And we are going to be taking on Chelsea. Three English clubs in the final four. Manchester United will be taking on Bayern Munich in the other semi-final. So... It's going to be hard, whatever, if we get past Chelsea, Man United or Bayern Munich. It's going to be a horrendously hard-fought contest here. Can we go on and win the Champions League with three games away from doing it? Looking at the Premier League table then, it looks beautiful. Seven points is the gap between ourselves and second place Manchester United, who are of course still in the Champions League themselves. Five league games remaining now. Stoke are flying. They're up there in third. Chelsea, who we take on in the Champions League semi-final, are sat in fourth place. QPR are relegated. Sheffield Wednesday sit on 29 points. Swansea on 31. And Palace and Norwich on 33 apiece. Leicester on 34. And the rest, when it gets to Newcastle, they're kind of clear at the drop. But not worried about what's going on down there. Worried about what's happening at the top. We look set to retain our Premier League title. Make sure you drop a like if you've enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the channel and come back next time as we will have the first leg of our semi-final in the very next episode. So be sure to subscribe. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you soon.